If you don't know what gunk holding is, gunk holding is basically taking a small boat, like our tender, and it... I don't know if I'd be tenting. I think... Uh, no, not at all. Hey everyone, and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed last episode where we explored Montague Harbour on Galliano Island. And if you want to know more about our channel, check out onboardtangroa.com. Enjoy this episode. Ah, you here home. I just do it with my finger. Oh, wrong oh way. he's angry. Play? Yeah. It's like a. Oh, it also. How loose it is, it just falls apart. It's like a thing. And the roots right into it. Yeah. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. We have a visitor on board. And I would like you to meet him. I feel like we should talk safety with him though, but look, this is Oscar. Oscar is the search and rescue dummy. He is going to be part of a, um, he's going to be part of an exercise tonight where I have to throw him overboard. I know, poor Oscar. I'm sorry, Oscar. I'm going to have to throw him overboard and he's going to have to pretend he's hypothermic. Can you do that, Oscar? Oscar says yes, he can do that. And the search and rescue, you're going to rescue him. And we're gonna watch everything from right here. Are you guys ready for that? What do you think, Oscar? I don't know. He looks ready for it though. And he's got his Mustang floater on. He dresses better than I do out in a boat. So good job, Oscar. So it is a beautiful day out here in Tangaro and I'm sitting here having wine with Oscar. What do you think, Oscar? Do you like the blush, the rosé? Yeah? I don't know how much of a wine connoisseur he is, but you know, Blaine's been away all day. Izzy is somewhere and I'm all by myself. So I'm just going to entertain myself with Oscar. What do you think, Oscar? Would you like some wine here? I'll, I'll... Oh, what do you think? Is it good? <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Oh yeah, that's not, that's like Oscar the Grouch. That's Cookie Monster. There you go. Swish it around your mouth. Taste test. What do you think? Good? Okay, I don't know if he likes blush. I think he's more of a beer guy. So maybe I should just get him some beer. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, hold on Oscar, I'll get you some beer. Oscar, I got a good drink for you. Here you go. Try this. Wait, do you need a Tangaroa koozie? Hold on, we gotta get you a Tangaroa koozie. Okay, let me, oh, it's perfect. There it is, the Tangaroa koozie. Okay, let me get that for you. By the way, if you want a Tangaroa koozie just like Oscar, check okay, out our ready? Patreon channel. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Uh oh, oops, maybe I shouldn't pour beer down there. They're gonna think he's drunk, not hypothermic. Oops, sorry, search and rescue. Do not pour beer on the dummy. So it is almost time to throw Oscar overboard. I don't think he's looking forward to it. What do you think, Oscar? Are you ready to go overboard? I don't think so. I think he's very sad. He doesn't want to go in the cold water, but he's going to be rescued by some really cool people. So it's good training, right, Oscar? He's he smells a little bit like beer. <laughs> Oops. He's up. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Oscar. Yeah, hide it from him though. Okay. Here he goes. Me do it. Going overboard. Uh, Oscar, heavy. And I don't you. Very heavy, eh? Yeah. Okay. The current's pulling out too. That's what we want. Rain, don't fall overboard yourself. 
Okay, he's got two dummies. Here they come. Quick, quick, quick. Free Oscar. No, face up. Go oh, face up. Face up. Shit. I said face down. No, I've never said face down. You should be more clear. I already said it like 20 times for the video. Okay, drift them off. Oh boy. Go free Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Oscar. <laughs> I don't know if he should have a dead person in the water. <laughs> Where are they? It looks so bad seeing him in the water right now. Blaine, he looks so bad in the water. <laughs> Look at him! I know. <laughs> He's just relaxing, having a. So that's. Okay. That's what he wanted. We did the right thing. Right now. Okay. That's okay though. Well, you didn't tell me that. You're being way too keen, which is very unusual for you. <laughs> Can you specifically say Dr. Talbot? Well, I was going to. Because it's not a person drowning, it's a person hypothermic. Oh, okay. Help, he's hypothermic. <laughs> Help, he's freaking cold! He's cold. You can tell. And they're off with Oscar. I have to go get him nice and warm. I wonder if John's gonna know that he smells like beer. I he, spilled beer on him. A salt water bath. It's all good. <laughs> Every morning, I usually take Maggie for a walk in Todd Inlet. This time, we found a friend, and things got a little bit exciting. I got a little bit too close to the dock with the dinghy, and Maggie, Maggie launched herself onto the float. Get in the boat. Maggie, Maggie, get in the boat. She really Maggie. wanted to check out that otter. Little Dead did she know that one would come here. on board Tangaroa. But you've got Dead to watch to the end of this video oh, to gosh, see that. A lot of stuff on this. So again, this is the prawn trap here, and I just spoon my really gross cat food into it. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I think Maggie saw a seal. There's lots of seals around here and they like to bug Maggie. They tease her. It's actually quite funny. So there we go. We're spooning the yummy cat food into the trap. Oh, it's a big chunk. And that's about enough there. And I put the trap here and we're good to go. Let's do this. So that, that trap is all ready now. And then this is my second trap here. And you know what? You actually need a prawn license to do this. So I'm getting that also, and then I just scoop some good cat food into there. Does that look yummy? Prawns love it. Okay, so this goes on to here. Okay, can't do this one-handed. I should have brought the GoPro. Damn, hold on. So as you can see, that hangs in there, and then I take this hook, and I hook it all the way across. Okay, can't do this one-handed. Okay, and here we go. First trap down. Here it goes. Ooh. And this is still coiled from last year, so let's hope it works. Okay, and then second trap has a clip on it. 
I just do that. And with the trap set, it was time to head to the pub. We're here at the pub. Prairie Inn. I'm looking at you, actually. Is this Are you excited? You're going to be there. This is my nephew, Ethan. He's always wanted to be an onboard Tangaroa. He wants to be, you know, a YouTube star right there. Yeah, that's where he is. And that's my other nephew, Tanner, who turns 22 today. I know. And then there's Grandma Mary Lynn and Sally. And there's the birthday boy down there, Papa Scott, 75 today. Ron, Dave, and Chris on our time. And we are celebrating. What do you think, Blaine? Awesome. Glad I could make it. Anyways, we are on a wing extravaganza. We've got cider, we've got wings, and if you come to Canada, I have never seen these anywhere else. These are called blue moon wings. So instead of just hot wings dipped in blue cheese, we actually mix it all together and dip the wings in it. So we're, go we're going prawning, pick up our traps for the first time this season, but it is so wavy out there. Right now I'm just in the lee shore of the island and I saw a bunch of styrofoam on the island. So I just picked it up quickly. Um, but my trap's out there in the white caps. Can you see that line? It's not gonna be that comfortable. This is what's called the lee shore of an island. But yeah, let's go see. Now I've got to rebate this trap and then I gotta go set these things again. It has been a while since I've tailed prawns. Let me put this camera someplace. I don't even know where to put it. There we go. So yeah, it's been a while since I've tailed prawns. Um, but it is birthday celebration tonight. So we are going to have a prawn. It's gonna be yummy, fresh prawns. Oh, look at that one. That's probably my biggest tagger prawn I've ever reached. And look at his little, isn't this cool? Look at this. Such a beautiful, beautiful creature. I like the tagger prawns, these ones, because they're just like butter in your mouth. Butter! They're usually a lot smaller than the spot prawns. The 
these are the spot prawns here. You can see the spot on them. Spot prawns, yummy. They got a nice little. And then it was off to the house to celebrate some birthdays and Papa Scott resurrected the gut bucket. Just to let you know, this was our first ever jam session. Actually, this was the first ever time I think I picked up the washboard. Give us a G, Janice. A G. Yeah. And in our family, no night is complete without playing the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. For 26,000 tons more, the legend of Gerald made empty. There is a reservoir tree, June, as of November come early. And the next morning, even with a hangover, it was back to doing boat work. Grinding, and I hit the wire that does the internet on our boat. I'll show you with the grinder. And you know what happens when you hit a wire um, with a 40 grit buffer? Cuts right through it really fast. Kind of like why I have scars all over my legs. But let me show you. Ah, I'm falling. The thing is, by taking this paint off, it's making it really freaking slippery up here. Anyways, look, I'll show you what I did. Oops. So I went downstairs to check if um, the internet was still working, and it's not. So I phoned Blaine all worried because I'm like, I don't know if we have any more wire on board. He says, yeah, we got lots. I'll tackle it when I get home. Whew. Thank gosh, because, damn, you kind of need internet out here, especially if you're running a YouTube channel. But, um... Yeah, that sucks. Just one quick little eh, with the grinder and it's gone right through. Okay, so I just pulled up the prawn trap. And there's some cool stuff. So I just pulled up the prawn trap and there's some really cool stuff in it. Wait till you see this. Woo! Hold on, let me turn you around. I have no clue what that is. But it's really cool. There is a little crab in it. I feel like I should have a glove to pick this thing up. Look at that. He's got my prawn. Ugh, is that not the coolest thing? Look at that. The thing is so cool. I got a little crab in here too. Where'd that little dude go? I hate crabs. Ah! But check that out. Look at my hand. You can see how big it is. It's so cool. I have no clue what it is. Now I gotta do some Googling. Whoa. Check out this starfish. He's so cool. Okay, bye bye, Mr. Starfish. Bye bye. I later found out that this was a sun star and that they're scavengers. No wonder he loved being inside my prawn trap. It was like a prawn buffet for him. I was trying to figure out what was happening. There's a friggin' otter on the boat, enjoying my carpeting. What is he doing? What are you doing, you little dude? Are you drying yourself off? I don't... I can't let Maggie out. I think he's drying himself off on my carpet.
<laughs> Drag himself up on our carpet. <laughs> Uh oh. There he goes. Okay, you can let go of Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's like, get him! <laughs> Don't fall overboard, dog! <laughs> so, how's it going there, Janice? I opened up the wrong thing on the Light Grill Montreal Steak Spice. Let's just say <laughs> that these are gonna be extra spicy steaks. No, we're gonna try and put this back. Just take a handful and just go. <laughs> like See? Oh, that's that's uh sounds like rain. Extra spicy. Oh, extra <laughs> spicy. Like, oh, that's yeah. spicy. Yeah. Gonna be some salty stick. Just gonna rub it in. Salty rub it stick. in, rub it in. What do you think, Izzy? Salty stick. She's exfoliating the steak. <laughs> Good way of putting it with a mess. Mm -hmm. Have you ever washed your hands? No. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed that episode, don't hesitate to check out our other ones and hit the bell button so you're notified of our weekly videos. I try to put them out on Mondays, sometimes Tuesdays, sometimes Wednesdays. It just depends what we're up to. But if you also want to know more about Tangroa, check out onboardtangroa.com. See you inside.